Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this one's how to create a simple uh, rev counter, as you can see there. Now it's based on a frequency counter, so it's looking for pulses per second. So you might wonder why this is jumping from 240 to 300. That's because I've got a, a bipolar stepper motor uh, with a magnet stuck to it, running past the Hall effect sensor and the speed of the bipolar motor is sort of approaching five revs per minute and sometimes it's on four and sometimes it's on five revs per minute so if you're getting an extra one rev per minute it's obviously going to jump up by 60 so that's why it's jumping from 240 to 300 so I've got the, uh, I mean this uh, microcontroller is the 18F45K22 but you can configure the interrupts and use any. It's a small program code. As I'm just trying to have a look uh, with this LCD, 1,900 words. So, well, so you can see there it running. You see there. Right, what we've got on the program. I'll zoom out actually. We've set up the interrupts. So we've got a, a one second interrupt. And during that one second, we look at the counts for that second. And to make it into a rev counter, all I've done is multiplied those counts by 60. So instead of counts per second, it's counts per minute. So you see, there's our counts from the motor. And there's our one second interval being toggled at the chop top. Um, right, let me turn on the light. Right, what I've done, so as the code yesterday, I mean that's just my uh, a basic 627 microcontroller running a stepper motor. Right, here's the stepper motor here, so we've still got the LN, uh, L298 driver, but this is the motor. I'll show you the uh, wiring and the code in a minute. focusing doesn't want to focus well if I stop it for a second so what we've got this is the magnet I've just glued to the shaft of the uh, stepper motor and we've got a little hall effect sensor I don't know if you can see it in this light Looks like a transistor, but it's actually a Hall effect sensor, made by Honeywell. So every time the magnet shoots past, the uh, Hall sensor shorts out a pin on my experimental board. But you don't need the experimental board, just wire one pin up to the microcontroller. So this was running, as you saw, between 4 and 5 revs a minute, giving you between 240 and 300 RPM. Hopefully you're happy with that. I'll demonstrate a, a faster motor in a minute. It's good for many thousands of, uh, probably 10, 20,000 RPM or more. Right, let me move you to the screen. Right, get rid of this. That's the code which I'll show you in a minute. Let me show you to wire it up. So that's what I've got. Uh, it's from Farnell. Well, this particular one's from Farnell. You can actually get it from anywhere. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, part number from Farnell, 147-0593. Uh, this sensor costs less than a pound, but the, the actual magnet I've stuck to the motor, uh, that magnet for that sensor is actually five pound. Uh, anyway, there's the sensor, as you can see. So obviously earth down at the bottom. Five volts to the sensor. The sensor can actually take 4.5 to 24, but obviously if you're running uh, a microcontroller, you don't want any more than five, or 
maybe 3.3 depending on what you're using. 4K7 pull up, three simple wires for the sensor. Supply, ground, and then out. So I've got it running, in, running into port RC0. Uh, that's the part number for the sensor. Got the data sheet up. So that's Honeywell's uh, data sheet. And you'll see, yeah, 4.5 to 24 volts DC. Uh, and the pinout is down at the bottom, which you can hopefully see there. Uh, you can see VSS, ground and out. That's a simple sensor. Get rid of that. Right, so now you've seen that. Now you want the code, simple code. Uh, as I, uh, I've, I've actually borrowed some of this. Uh, Someone's posted a frequency counter on uh, a forum on Microelectronica. What I've just uh, I've simplified some of it uh, and changed it from frequency in hertz to revs per minute. Uh, so this gap here for like RPM, that gaps for actual revs per minute. Um, right, so right zoom in so you can see all the code hopefully you've got that right so we've set up the LCD uh, two untied longs for the frequency and this is the frequency low is the timer uh, low register and char car depending on how you want to pronounce it, pronounce it. Uh, we've got 11 spaces for the result uh, all pins digital, turning the analog to digital converter off, comparators off. Don't think I can move you any closer here. Um, right, see so this TRIS A, all output except oscillator pins, TRIS B, TRIS C, so we've got uh, pin zero as the input. Delay just for the LCD, initialize LCD. You can obviously pause the YouTube video and copy this if you need to. Right, scroll down. Right, this is the crux of it. So we're setting up the timers here. So it overflows after one second. Hopefully you'll get all this in. What timer H register timer low uh, intcon. This is remember from the other videos. Uh, timer zero interrupt flag. Um, clearing the registers here. And this is this is the bit I modified. This is quite simple really. Uh, just the two frequencies yeah, multiplied by 60 to give us revs per minute uh, and all obviously converting it to a string and LCD out this is just toggling the lead on board eh? so hopefully you can see that in the screen I noticed from previous videos it seemed to blank the top half out so you can just copy this out as I say well this off nearly forgot so this one's running the 45k22, 18f 45k22, but running it, I've got set a 32 megs, but running with an 8 meg crystal. So bear that in mind. Uh, and what I kept on forgetting the other day was, well I've got this uh, little L298 driver. I've got that running off a separate power supply. You do need a common ground between this power supply and the PIC micro power supply. So I've got uh, this earth linked up here. Right, well, so you've seen the code, it's in the screen. So you see that's running at 240-300 RPM. Just to demonstrate, it's a good system, or I'm running out of time. Well, 